the only person I'll put is Mary. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're old, you're super, super welcome. And it's weekend, guys. I wish you a beautiful and wonderful weekend. So today, guys, we have very interesting stories for you. So just stay tuned as I unleash you the gist of the day. And please, guys, subscribe to my channel. So guys, first of all, we're going to be talking about VEA. VEA did something to Neo. And her song is really, really making headlines here. And they need to see the dance step her dance challenge has moved to the next level guys you soon be seeing it but v is so so hot on this outfit and guess what's gonna be happening next see what neo did to v can you just imagine this ah this too this is their relationship i don't even know that's so funny so guys i told you about v's music that it has become the talk of the city yes everywhere the music is slamming in lagos abuja port Harcourt. you can see it here at this particular place they were just dancing to the rhythm of V so these guys nailed it it was amazing sorry I won't be able to allow the music to play but just enjoy the music yeah it was amazing and so much fun wow this is so so busy at clubs everywhere it's VEA hitting headlines you can choose some her song you find it there it's already on the internet hitting everywhere well congratulations to V we wish her well. So guys, the next we are going to be watching is the video of some of Nigerian people whose visas expired in Saudi Arabia and are being stocked like stockfish. Guys, it's so funny. But watch this video of V and me first. Hello, dearie. I think I like you. I think I like you, dear. Can I get to know you? Stop, stop, stop. Assist us. Assist us, please, to get us back to our country, inshallah. This is the only reason why we seek for your own pardon. And so guys, next you're going to be watching a video of Mercy AK. She'll be telling you what happened to her today and what some hoodlums did to her over the phone. So guys, be careful of your bank account and who calls you from the bank and say do this transfer or that one. So guys, just watch Mercy AK explain it to yourself. Watch the video, guys. I said you should be careful. I just got scammed this morning. You should be careful. Any number that calls you that looks like the bank, because I even that's that's where it's pending me the more. Please do not fall for it. Bank maintenance, go to the bank to rectify it. Anything, go to the bank. Do not do anything via anybody. In fact, banks should stop calling. I think the bank should stop calling us. All these platforms, they should stop calling so that when people call you, you will know where it's coming from. And at the bank, I'm waiting for, in fact, re return my money. Because <laughs> even though you've lost me, the bank have lost me. I'm not going to put one there either. If they return the money is what it is. I think that the bank should stop calling their customers. If there is anything, maybe block the person's account, freeze the person, I can let the person just walk into the bank and verify whatever problem they're having. Stop calling us so that when these scammers call, we will identify them. Okay? And at the bank, I'm waiting for, in fact, re return my money because I <laughs> even though you've lost me, the bank have lost me. I'm not going to put one there either. If they return the money is what it is. The only person I'll put is Mary because that's the cash she used to go to the market, what she wants to buy for the house. Because hmm, guys, did you hear what Messi AK said? She has already said it all though. That's what is going on right now. A personnel can just call you and claim to be your bank manager, your account officer and tell you this or that please don't fall to it because there are scammers everywhere you just have to be very very careful at this point in time and guys we're going to be telling you about our own very own boss chick katrina she did the boss it challenge and also next we'll be watching erica right in ghana so boss lady said she will not be left out of this boss it challenge from this happy jamala she bought the 
visit Versace. She had to do the buses. She had to follow the trend. And next, guys, is Erica the Star Girl having a wonderful interview in Ghana. And she was asked about her relationship. If she wants it open and what she feels about her, really, her life personally. According to what she said, that she doesn't want to disclose everything about herself. She wants her life to be private. She just wants to allow people to continue assuming. Like, let them continue assuming that when they get out of assuming, they will just let everything be the way it is. So guys, without taking much of your time with my long speech, just listen to Erica herself. Talk. Must must be a little bit daunting, you know, um, paying attention to your fans and keeping your privacy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so how how are you managing that? Oh, I'm trying. I don't think I did a good job of that before. Yeah. But now I'm doing a very good job of that. Yeah. No one knows what's going on in my private life, and I ah. try to keep it that way. Are you yes. sure? <laughs> Nigerian I'm press, sure. you're very intrusive. Mm -hmm, they are, but they don't know. They yeah. they only assume. They only assume. Like what? Well, what are they I don't assuming? Know, I don't even want to repeat it because it's it's false. And if I repeat it, it just makes the well, stories go I, around. I think that for your fans who probably have also seen that in the news you know um mm. trends yeah it would be good to you know for them to know disregard this nah. or that if i talk about it then i'll be giving them information about my private i mean really? i don't want to I mean, I'm <laughs>